Mrs. Lee? Mrs. Lee, you here? night. There's no need for sorrow. Approved your application yet? It does take time. Hey, man, I got to be honest. You know, uh, I don't know if this is the thing for me. I mean, he's such a strange kid. Uh, you know, he won't cry. Maybe he needs psychiatric care. Maybe I'm not right for him. Maybe he's not right for me. Salvation! Salvation! Mr. Rizzo, oh, my grandfather's dead, Mr. Rizzo. He's dead. It's okay, Go ahead and cry. Go ahead. <laughs> Love us all. He said he'd never leave me. And he's dead. He never left you. He was with you in that, that elevator shaft, wasn't he? No one knows that better than me. Make him come back, Mr. Rizzo. Please make him come back. He hasn't left you now, either. He's with you. And so am I, Ernie. And so am I. Listen, this is Detective Sergeant Rizzo. And I want those forms processed today. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Hey, the boy's grandfather just died, so it can't wait. Now do you understand? Yes, I'll take care of it. Thank you. Rizzo, it's for you, 4-5. Says the name is Patricia Blake. Says it's important. Hi. Jake, I tried everything I could. But my superior, Mrs. Niedermeyer, is here. They're taking Ernie to the county home. There was nothing I could do. You see, it'll only be for a little while, Ernie. Then you can be with Jake. There's no sense in giving the boy false information. Ernie, you are going to a county facility, and they will start the process of finding you a foster home. Mr. Rizzo lied, Miss Blake. He lied. No, you mustn't believe that. It's not true. And where is Mr. Rizzo? Where is he? All right. All right. Out of the car. Spread him. Come on. I beg your pardon. No, I'm sorry, ma'am. It's a force of habit. I didn't mean it. You, Ernie, out of the car. By what right? These papers will attest to the fact that I'm a certified foster parent recognized by the County Social Services Department. This is a copy of Mr. Lee's duly executed will naming me as guardian. I've already filed a motion with the court. 
Well, then a court will decide whether or not the boy goes with you. Until that time, he's under our department's jurisdiction. I will not have my authority thwarted in this fashion. This your car, ma'am? This isn't a county car, is it? Can I see your driver's registration, please? I think this conversation is over. The boy is going with me. Oh, ma'am, I'm not talking about the boy. I'd like to see your driver's license and registration, please. This is absurd. This is a broken taillight, Mr. Rizzo. This is ridiculous. This is a disconnected smog device. This is abuse of power. Rascal, you. I'm taking this boy with me. You better take him in a cab, because this car is bound for the impound lot. And while you're at it, you better make sure all your parking tickets are paid. You starting to get the picture, lady? The only picture I see is of a two-bit civil servant acting like a petty dictator. Maybe you're looking in a mirror. Because what I see is a little boy who's all alone and scared. I know I'm coming down hard on you, but I'm fighting to make sure this boy gets a home where somebody needs him as much as he needs them. Blake, this is your responsibility. He can have temporary foster care, but you sit on his case like a hair on a bear or it's your job. the sun. Let's go home. 